So let's let's get going. So some of you guys have not seen CI keys before. Some of you have. So this is essentially a web space for you guys, and we're gonna set this up this week. Everybody's gonna have a default um, uh, web page, and we're gonna keep that keep it that way for a couple weeks, and then we're gonna go in and I'm gonna let you guys start to make it as fancy as you want. But um, for the start, everybody's gonna start off with the same. Uh, web page with or with the same layout, excuse me, same template and all that kind of stuff. We'll explain it. The first step, though, is to get everyone up and running. And from experience in trying to do this last year, it's better if we all start this in the same room so I can walk around and help you out, okay? Um, so it's not very complex. So just like we have everything else brand... So, okay, I'll tell you. So the genesis of this was last year when I was um, prepping... Uh, uh, essentially a resume lecture for you guys about talking about resumes and how we, what you guys should include. And I'm, I'm constantly sort of going through my lectures, seeing if I could make things better, what I could add. And I was looking through, reading some other uh, example material and someone said, and there was a reference to an online resume. And I polled everybody last year and of the 40 people in Capstone, I polled nobody had a web page. And, and so that didn't strike me as a great thing. And then just coincidentally, um, CSUCI was piloting this thing that we'll talk about next. And so it was a perfect fit. So we, we tried it last year, kind of, it was brand new and it worked kind of okay, but, but I, I decided to do things a lot differently this year. So this is what we have. So this is our own CSUCI branded web portals, just like we have Blackboard that we call CI Learn, and you know everything CI this, CI that. This is called CI Keys. So why don't you guys start by just typing in CIKeys.com and go into that website, which should look just like this. Now part of this idea is to um, you know be able to communicate uh, and for me to be able to follow what you're doing a little more easily as we go throughout the year, but also. This, you should view this as an opportunity. So not now, but at the end of the school year, well, you guys will have made business cards, you guys will have made resumes, all this kind of stuff. So in Capstone, we work on things other than just your pure quote unquote research, but other ways to get you guys hired and stuff. And so this to me seems to be a really um, key thing. The, that idea being you guys should have control of your identity, okay? So, I mean, I could be wrong. So, so one of us has a web page so far, right? Does, does anybody else have a web page? And Robert, so, so how do you do your web page? Um, in terms of what? Oh, you already, you already have a CI Keys web page? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Does anybody else have something other than a CI Keys web page or Christine's significant other that, that crafted a web page for? So that's good. So, well, I mean, that's not good. <laughs> I, mean, no. <laughs> I mean, it's good that you guys have started. You too have started. That's good. Everybody else, you guys will have started by the end of today. And so the idea is this. Um, who says what goes on your LinkedIn page? Who says what goes on your Facebook page? You don't say that, right? You give it some information and that, that company decides what they want to display, right? When you upload a picture to whatever, Instagram, you don't control the picture anymore. <clears throat> In, you just gave that picture to Instagram and they can do whatever they want with it, right? Supposedly they have all these things that you read and you, they say, yeah, we'll be good. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. So um, when it comes time to, um, actually let's do that right now before, before we keep going. So go into the search, the, your, <clears throat> excuse me, your search engine of whatever web page you have open and just type your, your first and last name. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so first search your name and see what comes up. And then next search your name with CSUCI or something like that. So you get more of a focus thing on you. Oh, okay, cool. Good. Okay. What else what else do people get? Okay, so 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 gigs you played at uh, your your announced or somewhere like the venues announcement? Uh, like my announcement. Okay, good. Good good. On what? No, 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 no. On, on what? So, so the dive bar, the dive bars uh, website. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So Tevin's on a dive bar. So when it comes time to get hired, 
his employers will know that Tevin likes dive bars. That's good. So you guys get the idea, right? The idea is that when you guys are going for a job and someone, because they will, I guarantee they will Google you or, or, or search for you, um, you want to be in control of what they see, right? Of course, they might find your Facebook. Of course, they might find some postings about you in a news story or you in a you in one of your job, your you know, musician gig stories, whatever, and that's cool. But you wanna make sure that one of the top hits is you. And so that starts by you creating a digital identity and you controlling the story <clears throat> that you would like to project to the world and, and future employers, et cetera. So uh, that's what this is about, okay? Now, the, here's the cool thing about CI Keys. The cool thing about CI Keys is we're gonna start this up and this is all totally free, all right? You don't have to pay anything. <clears throat> what we've actually done is we've contracted with a service out of the Midwest that, that is, well, essentially was another university that went through the same issue that we went through and decided it was too big a pain in the butt to have you guys use the, use the campus web page, whatever, with all these constraints and this template and the this and the that. And rah, rah, rah. So rather, they created the service and now we contract with them and we just have a shell. So this thing, the CI keys thing is a shell that overlays um, upon this service. <clears throat> and it is a portal to web space. So essentially the university is paying for web space for all of you guys to have. It's pretty cool. The other cool thing is uh, as you guys know, when you graduate, so right now your email works and everything works and, and library access and stuff works. You graduate and at some point after you graduate, that gets turned off. It's not a week, but it's, it's, the, it's the internet God's decision. It's whenever they decide to purge the permissions. So your email address, your access might last for six weeks. It might last for two months. But at some point, it's going to cut off and there will be no warning, right? Unless you guys join the Alumni Association or something like that where you have to keep your email address. It'll, it'll just cut off. This thing, though, is set up so that you can take this with you wherever you want to go. So as you'll see in a second, when we, when we type in our name, it's going to have CI keys in the, in the web address <clears throat> and, then, and then part of the information that you guys supply. Okay, that's, the, that's that name I asked you to figure out what, what name you want to try. Um, as you, and so as you're building this over the course of this year, right, this semester, there'll be some stuff, maybe not a huge amount of stuff. Then as we get into Christmas time and you really start to get into your project hardcore, it'll start getting more diverse. Then as you get into January, February, it'll start getting better, better. And so by the end of the year, you're going to have a kick butt web page. And if you're done with it, and if you're saying, man, I'm going to be out in the forest, man, work for forest service, I'm not going to have no computer, um, you can just say whatever, and it's all good, and it can just die, and that's, that's totally fine. But if you want to take this thing that you'll have worked on a good amount of time, you can take it with you. All you have to do is pay for a, an internet server or a host, which is, there's a gazillion of them out there. Um, or even perhaps your company, if you go to work, work for a company on their space, and just essentially copy all this material and post it in. So it's all completely portable. That's one option. Or, well, one option is let it die. Second option is to take it with you. The third option is to brand it as you. And last year when I gave this opportunity, uh, nobody took it up at the beginning, even though some people did it at the end. And so I, I didn't even tell you guys too much about it. But here's the deal. As you're working on it over the course of this semester... If you decide this is really a useful tool, you can, we can change it. So you'll see, so um, uh, like this. So here's Dr. Steele's uh, webpage. And if you have a look at it, it says uh, her, her name, her first name, space, or no, no space, excuse me, first name, uh, old last name, and then her current last name dot cikeys.com and that's that's what your website's going to look like after we start today or wh whatever you know sam mary whatever dot cikeys.com okay so that that's a way you can do it or you can have it look like like this which is uh 
nola.piratelab.org. That lo this looks like this is some weird ran well, it's mine, but but it looks like it's some weird random web page, right? This is actually living on CI keys. This is identical to the thing we just looked at. It just is. It just look. It, the, the address is different. So if you guys like your web page, a thing that I'm going to encourage you guys to do is to go buy your own domain name. So I bought my own domain name. So my my domain name is piratelab.org. And it, de it depends on what it is. So it depends on if you're buying a .com one, depends on if you're buying a .net one, a .xyz, whatever. And so, so you guys can check it out. But this was like 15 bucks a year. The point is, this looks like it's not school, right? The other one doesn't look bad, but the other one looks a little bit something. This name, not only the material can I take with me, but this name, once I set this up, it looks like I'm here. Maybe I'm a student here using this domain web address. And then, oh my God, I graduated. And so I'm going to at some point be kicked off the CI Keys server. I'm just going to go to whatever, another internet hosting service, pay them whatever I'm paying them. I don't know, 20 bucks a year or whatever. And then essentially go into the internet nookie nookies of things and type, 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 and redirect this thing. And, from, and so your possible employers, me, whoever, your parents, whoever's looking at your web page, nobody will ever know that the web page moved, right? Because you now control your, your domain address and it can just go along. So in other words, CI Keys is a way for you guys to build a digital identity, one, but two, it's a way for you guys to build a permanent digital identity, if you so wish. Again, you don't have to do this after our class is over. You can just say, I hate this whole experience. I don't like the, have my own web page. But hopefully many of you will see it as valuable. It's a place you guys can put up sample writing. You can put up some of your data. You can put up stuff from your other classes. And it's, it's look, man, this is me. This is how I um, am choosing to present myself to the digital world. So that's what we're working on, okay? So today's just the first step. So let's go back to what we started. So CI keys. Now, eventually, and maybe even this year, eventually when you log on to Blackboard, or when, when you go into My CI and you log on, right, the first time, and you guys see on the left-hand side, it's, it's, it's CI Learn and it's CI Records and all this and that. Eventually, this is going to be within that menu. So eventually, it'll all be one unified My CI login. For now, it's separate. So you guys start by typing in cikeys.com. Everybody with me? Any questions so far? All right, great. So this is the landing page. And I should say, this was we piloted this last year, several faculty and some other folks. This year, this is, a, this is available to anybody across campus. So after you guys do this, if you're back home or in your apartment with your roommate and they want to do it, they can do it too. This is available to any CSUCI faculty, staff, student, anybody with a CSUCI uh, dot edu email address.